after relegation to League One was confirmed towards the end of the 2021-22 season, Derby County has undergone a summer of change. Manager Wayne Rooney left the club and upped to take the head coach role with MLS outfit DC United. Wayne's assistant, Liam Rossini, has been appointed as manager on an interim basis. 13 players depart in Moore Farm in a transfer window that has seen 14 new signings arrive in the East Midlands. Local businessman and lifelong Rams supporter David Klaus purchased Pride Park Stadium as well as Derby County, lifting the Rams out of administration. Klaus Developments is now the new owner of Derby County Football Club. Good morning. How are we doing? How are we doing? That's all right. Excited about tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. We are too. We are too. Come in, come in, we're just I doing set we're, uh, <laughs> we're doing our set plays. Oh, we're right. Through them all, so that's how we do it. Let's go through every scenario. Stand, stand over here. <laughs> so we'll go through this today in training. Yeah. So everyone knows their job, attacking, defending. Yes. Yeah. Bucko's taking control of the attacking one. So if, they, if we score tomorrow, you know it's down to Bucko. Right. And if you can see this all, <laughs> <laughs> if we can see, if we can see this all down to me, it's down to me <laughs> doing the defensive one. Okay. So, but we work all together. We, we yeah. sit together and talk about them. So, um, because the day before the game, we just go out and, and walk through everything tactically yeah. and set plays and things like that and name the team today. Okay. And then eight and a half ten. So, yeah, yeah. we're excited. Looking forward Good. to it. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Big crap. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. That's That's incredible. Cool. Incredible. So, uh, yeah. shows what everyone's thinking of it. Yeah. So, it'll be bouncing to it'll be, bouncing. it'll be bouncing on the score. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. So, there's just. All sorts of sport lads that have did not wanted or the international lads have brought back. Yeah. That we've had from games. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the old one what kid men want to swap and whatever, but uh, a lot of the a lot of the shirts are the lads that I know that have been here. Yeah. Say so normally they're all across there, but obviously at the moment I'm printing stuff and taking stuff off. So yeah. it's so Hughes, that must be Will Hughes, is it? I presume. Yeah. yeah. Watford. Yeah. Lampard. Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, certainly got uh, things back 150 something altogether. Yeah, together. I remember yeah. that shirt back in the. Uh, that's the away shirt Same. back in. Oh, uh, back yeah, that's. Uh, is that a replica? Someone gave me, yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah, someone gave me that. Like, uh, chap called Phil Lowe. So he gets. I've not put these back up yet because they got there. But this. He does a brilliant job. I know it's got red on it, and we shouldn't have red. But <laughs> there's a couple more there as well. So he gets all these tailor-made. So these are like the original colours from. That's the original colours from yeah. 1884. That's, yeah, yeah. So he gets all these uh, made up, and he's kindly sent me these because I've done a couple of favours and things. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they will get back up there eventually. The guys in the there. Dog. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Hi, oh, yeah. I'm David. Good to see you. How's things? All right. Going well. Yeah. 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 I've seen you well, you've already seen me many times. And again in front of the camera to look good. Yeah, I have to say that there, don't I? <laughs> yeah, they, obviously we've been told that yeah, this is analysis. Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. 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 But magic happens. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we looking at here then? What's saying? Oh, I'm just doing a little pre-season review, basically, right. of like, all the work we've done this year. I'll yeah. just send it out to the coaches in the senior okay. staff and stuff, just to give an overview of how we've, how we've looked this pre-season. Yeah. Obviously it's yeah. been a bit bit difficult, but you know, yeah. I think we're happy with what we've done. And, yeah. Um, okay. The lads are looking good, so yeah. a few of them would have liked to get in a bit earlier, but yeah, yeah it's all good. Can't we miss. had that additional game just to get some minutes for some of the lads that were yeah. working, so yeah, yeah, it's all, all looking good, I think. We've got a little bit, uh, two weeks behind everybody else, aren't we? A little bit, yeah, yeah, but I think, I think we're happy enough where, where most of them are at. Yeah, yeah. Um, a tactical session today, just to get ready and yeah. good to go. Yeah, tapered down from Tuesday, Tuesday was our big day. Match day minus four and then yes, yeah. 
Yeah, just yeah. A, a normal, normal match in the last one, and good to go, hopefully. Yeah, all yeah. we'll being well. Good. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll go back, let's go back this way. Um, As I said, it's important that you know, we continue the positivity of last year yeah. in the difficult circumstances, yeah. yes, but at the same time, we've got an expectation. You know, so we can't think that, with all due respect, we're in League One now. We can't think that, you know, we're going to be able to, you know, lose a game and, you know, not play well. And players are going to clap us off the pitch. So I've tried to reiterate that to the young lads. Because some of our young lads, you know, they've played in lockdown and they've played through a positive season in terms yeah. of with the fans. So they've not actually had that hostility. Yeah. Um, sometimes that hostility is needed to, to keep them on your toes. So fingers crossed we don't have that too often. Yeah. Um, and we run away with it, but yeah, but yeah, it's important. But like, get a good start. Fingers crossed, we, we can keep rolling. Pre-season trips to Bradford, Stevenage, and Alfreton, alongside two home friendlies against Hertha Berlin and Leicester City, have conditioned the new squad for their League One curtain raiser against Oxford United at a buoyant Pride Park Stadium. Lima Senior makes his debut as senior manager. Here's the fact you can have 32,000 people roaring you once a day to need one. Okay? Use the fact that they're expecting us. I love the fact we're expecting to win every game. Okay, that's the demise that I want that it's talking from. Okay, so go out there and dominate the game. Okay, so I just want to say one more thing. Okay, when the when left the club, okay, and there's an opportunity for me to be a team manager, have loads of people in the game phone me up. So don't take the charge. It's not possible what we're trying to do. Okay, and now I'm in this room today and I'm looking at all the faces, all the staff. I see what we've done together. Okay, every single person has added to create this just to get here. It's unbelievable. But we could be part doing something special, making history for this football club and always be the moment that starts the game. And all I ask for, we win or lose, is that we play like that. Okay, and I won't ask for anything more than lose. I'm so trusting every single person in this room, even lads who want to start in the game, to add to what we're going to do. Because I, I believe we're going to do it. Okay, just go out there and do that. I'll be the way. Yeah, let's go. Welcome back to Pride Park's Thrill to be able to welcome you back for a League One campaign as Derby County's new season gets underway here this afternoon. There were moments when I wasn't sure if we would make it, but here we are. I urge everyone to enjoy every moment, whatever happens. All the best, fellas. Yeah, look, absolutely delighted. Um, you know, great first and foremost to, to win the game. Um, you know, for myself to score obviously on top of that's an added bonus. But look, it's a great, a great start. Um, you know, there was an added energy in the stadium today. Obviously, with, look at what's gone on, take over and so much expectancy. But um, delighted for everyone to go home today and a kind of a special day. Um, you know, with the three points.
we spoke of before the game, those games will be really difficult. First game at home, a lot of expectancy. And I know, and I know you know, we will be better. And we will get better and better and better. Until that moment, okay, when we start, I think we're going to be 10 times better with the ball and we're going to hurt teams, okay? But the heart, the fight you show to keep that clean sheet, that's what champions do. That's what champions do, okay? So that's what it's about. So we're not going to play pretty football every single week. We have to find a way to win. And Sibs, I singled you out at uh, Stevenage, okay? I'm singling you out to them again today for the right reasons, okay? You come on, you take on board the tactical information, you're magnificent when you come on. Magnificent. I said it before the game, okay? The Matthew's starting, if you're on the bench, okay? And what made me happy, Corey comes off. Point at that, where's Corey? Yeah. Comes off after 60 minutes, okay? He scored a goal, he's running on the pitch. Yeah, I love that passion, okay? Connor's moment quality wins us the game. Not just that, every single person doing their job. Okay, fantastic. See you Monday. We'll go again. After claiming their first victory of the League One season in front of 31,000 fans, the squad returns to Moore Farm to continue the conditioning. There's also a special birthday for one of the Rams TV camera crew. Pink. Pink. Oh, Pink yeah. Top. yeah. <laughs> Maroon. <laughs> Maroon. Maroon. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. 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 Was I sitting in front of him? What are you six? Oh, now? He's put, he's put him in the, six, in the, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Look. yeah. Rugby boots. Got two minutes. Coach's boots. Yeah, two minutes. Old boots. And not the boots I actually wear. Oh. Johnny, is that everyone? Okay. Firstly, uh, Ange wasn't there on Saturday, but first of all, thank you for the video you put together for us before the yeah. end. Okay. Secondly, more importantly, if. Uh, <laughs> more, importantly, more importantly, happy birthday, 50. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, well, they need to come down into the canteen and uh, speak to <laughs> <and> the speak <laughs> on the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Any words, Nike? Jason? No. Nope. Uh, no. <laughs> great to be 30 again. Uh, <laughs> have a great day. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, oh, stepped up. starting with the A's. Justin, favourite ever holiday? Iron an Apple. Very good. Barbados. Barbados. 90s. Bora. 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 Dominican Republic. Dominica. Dominica. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Dominican countries. Egypt. Egypt. Abifa. Very good. I'm Magaluf. That's me there. Maldi yep. Maldives. 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 Malia. 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 We got it from Maldives. Maldives. Montego Bay. Montego Bay. Nice. Mykonos. Mykonos. This is the S's down here. Singapore. Singapore. South Africa. Thailand. Thailand. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Steers. This is your. This is your block. I haven't said your name. A full week of preparation saw the Rams take to the road for their first away trip of the season. A visit to Charlton Athletics the Valley is Derby County's only trip to the capital of the league this season. A disappointing afternoon followed. Despite dominating the first half away at Charlton this afternoon, lost by a goal to nil, Corey Blackett-Taylor's opportune finish from the rebound and midway through the second half was enough for the home side. If you don't take your chances, you're not going to win the game. Um, for 45 minutes, we dominated. We, we dominated the ball. We had possession in the final third. We created chances and we didn't take them. You have to learn from these games. You have to learn from those opportunities that are presented to you. And I think they were presented in the first 45 minutes and we just didn't take them. The first round of the Carabao Cup presented Derby County with a short trip to the One Horse Stadium over Nigel Clough's Mansfield Town. After securing a 2-1 victory on the night, Lima Rossini sat a squad down to assess their performance. The results on Tuesday, how difficult those games are. Okay, I think nine championship clubs got knocked out by lower league clubs. 
Okay, and they can be really, really difficult. So in terms of winning the game, in terms of trying to put into practice what me and the other coaches have asked you to do, fantastic. Playing sharp, combining, brilliant. Love this. Okay, just pause it a second. So for all of our attacking players, and we're going to come up against a lot of back fives this season, I am giving you the freedom when you get in that position, whether it's you, Bart, Nat, Dobbs, Sibs, if you're 1v1, I back you to go and beat him. Okay, seven, eight, nine times out of ten. So you get faced up against someone, do what Nat does. Okay, Nat, I absolutely love it. I've also spoken a lot about wings on the other side, being on that back post. It's a great goal. It's a great goal. Last clip, love this clip. Love this clip. This is the way I want to see us play, and I hope you enjoy playing this way. Joe's Khan plays to Tomo. Tomo plays to Corey. Great running behind. Great ball from Corey. Unlucky not to score. Okay, we get a throw in. Okay, I said in the first minute of the game, I said it about 90. Okay, this is so important, lads, for the way that we want to play. Okay, if we have a throw in, it's just staying on the ball and moving the ball and moving the opposition. So, trust your mate. Play. We have to use the goalkeeper, use the goalkeeper, brilliant position, Joe, nice and high. Watch what happens. Play, wait, great position, turn, two passes, cross, we get our, our, our just rewards. Derby is still getting plenty of national attention. Today, Mark Clement and the BBC Football Focus team visit the Derby County Training Centre to catch up on the club's busy summer. Listen, it's fantastic the club's on the up. It's one heck of a story. I mean, I, I sort of, before coming to visit the club today, I actually had to sit down and remind myself of all the sort of moments, the sort of troughs that the club got itself into. I'm going to be honest and say, I don't think I ever truly believed that this club would disappear altogether. It's one of the grand old dames, found a member of the Football League, just an enormous, brilliant fan base. I don't think I ever truly believed that it would disappear altogether. But I think probably as a result of being here, I realised just how pressurised it was trying to get the bits that needed to be in place to kick the new season off, so praise to all. On the one hand, this is a division of rebirth. You've got to look at Leicester a bit over a decade ago when they had a single season down there, bounced straight back, and Wolves the same a few years ago. And they used it as a springboard for greater momentum that took them to even more brilliant heights. On the other hand, you look at the four years it took Sunderland to get out of the division and you look again around the division that Sheffield Wednesday missed out last season that Portsmouth are down there that Bolton that Charlton so these are massive massive names I mean I suppose perceived wisdom would be a bounce back is the is the better option because it becomes harder the more that you're down there I would just say though just bear in mind the lateness of the signings bearing in mind everything the club's been through and if Derby missed out on promotion in the next season, please, a bit of stability, because the worst thing that could possibly happen is, oh, it didn't work under that manager, so get rid of the manager, and a new manager comes in and doesn't like the players they've got, and players have to be paid off, and millions of pounds leave the club. This has got to be the laying of a base for future generations of Derby fans, so that they don't drop to the level that the club is currently are at, or go through what everybody connected with Derby's gone through over the past three years. Good afternoon and welcome to a scorching hot Pride Park Stadium. Derby County hosting Barnsley here this afternoon in what was a championship fixture last season. Kick-off less than half an hour away. We've got all your build-up right here with former Derby County captain Sean Barker 
alongside. Uh, there's a new look side, there's a new feel to it. Um, different players have obviously gone and come back in. And we know what Liam wants, he wants possession. He wants control of the ball. And over the last few weeks, we've seen that introduced into, into this system, into the style, into the players. And with a couple of uh, names on the team sheet today, there's, there's a couple that can make an impact as well. Four studs. No one Hundred percent. So said before about what we spoke about for the game, where we want to get to as a group, and we ain't gonna play well every week. It's impossible. It's impossible in any league, in League One, Championship, Premier League. Cash, mate. You look at your age as a centre half, right? And you defend like you're the your box like that, and you play like that. You got a chance to go wherever you want in the game. Telling me that now. You're magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Steers comes in. You cut you taking that goal? He's run off like Adam Shearer. Alright? Lads, and, and I see and I know we're not there where we want to be fitness wise and a lot understanding wise. We've not been together long. Okay, so I'm expecting things like this. I cannot afford the commitment, your energy, your fight. You know we can play better. Okay, and you combine that. Okay, you combine that with when we play well. Because when we play well in patches, they couldn't live with us. We'd probably play well for 20 minutes, for 2 0 up, and then play well for the first 50 minutes, need to score a great goal. Okay, that's the quality we've got in the team. That has to be based on the foundation, has to be what we showed in the, in the second half and run with the posh. Okay, so enjoy the win, all right, enjoy winning, put the music on, nice re relaxing day tomorrow, with your families or your friends, or whatever you're doing, and we come in Monday and we go for another one on Tuesday. Okay? Well done, lads. I'm oh, delighted. Yeah. Can you use it The club's 13th signing came in the form of Joseph Anang. The goalkeeper arrived from West Ham United on a season long loan. Joseph's start to life at Derby County has been hindered by a hairline fracture to his arm, meaning his debut for the Rams is still on hold. A midweek fixture at Shrewsbury's Montgomery Waters Meadow was next on the agenda. Despite some impressive play, the Rams were forced to settle for a point with neither side finding the net. The frustration continued for the Rams with their trip to the northwest to take on Fleetwood Town. Despite dominating the game, it was the team's second successive goalless draw. I 
turned round on the bench probably after 20 minutes and I said, I said to Justin Bucko and the staff, I said, please don't tell me it's going to be one of those days again because the football we played, the chances we create, you know, I think for me, I'm delighted with, but I can't, I can't help but be so frustrated and almost furious that we haven't won that game today because they celebrated uh, the, a nil-nil draw at home like it was a World Cup final. We're going to face that. They defended their box. They threw everything in front of the ball. But with the quality we have on the pitch, we have to start taking advantage of these situations. And, and for me, the most pleasing aspect is they're doing everything I'm asking them to do. Some of the passages of play today were outstanding. Fleetwood couldn't get near us, uh, first half especially. And the only time teams in this league cause us problems is from long balls into our box, which causes every team in this league problems. But what we do by having the ball is we take that away from teams. So we just have to keep going. I thought Cash and Stearman were outstanding. Fozzie came in and did a really good job. Um, there's some, been some really, really good individual performances. We just have to turn that into three points every week. Right? I hope the fans can see what we're trying to do and see that we are an inch away from being so successful in this league. It was back to the Carabao Cup for the Rams, next as they booked an exciting tieway to Liverpool with an impressive 1-0 victory over championship side West Bromwich Albion. Let's go, let's go, come on, let's go. Derby County have a perfect record against West Bromwich Albion in this competition and the Rams are out to cause an upset against the Baggies tonight. Dobbin with an early ball. It's come straight back to him. Sibley. Trying to get it onto his left. And that's why Louis Sibley said he had a point to prove. Well, he's made a point tonight at Pride Park Stadium. Derby lead in the EFL Cup second round. And gathered by Wells for his front post. And that is that. Derby due a decent cup run and they might just get it this season. They beat Mansfield in round one. And now they've been Championship West Brom in round two. The important thing is that Derby will turn their focus to the EFL Cup again because they're through to round three. They've beaten West Brom by a goal to nil. Peterborough with the next visit, with the Rams looking to extend their impressive home form. This one would be far from straightforward, however, and features some classic late Pride Park drama. out of the team because we didn't play to our level today but they kept believing they kept pushing and again proud of the fans I don't know how many times it's been there with those endings but there's a spirit and a togetherness in the group and I, when I say the group I mean the players the staff and the supporters and um, you know the fans kept pushing us forward they sucked the ball into the net delight with the players delight with the spirit and then it puts us in a really, really good position to, to push on in the league. Like he heads the ball in the net, he's celebrating, he's running off to the crowd, a few others are running off, and I'm screaming at those, get that ball out of the goal and put it on the spot. Because, um, you know, when you when you play against 10 men and they work as hard as they did, they were credit to Grant today. Delighted for Didzy because he's a top man and a top player, and he showed that today. So overall, a really positive day, and it gives us a good platform to move on. <laughs> I said to you before the game, I don't really know what to say to you, and I say it now. That's payback for the games where we've been brilliant and drawn or lost, okay? Because we know, every single one of us, we know we can be much better than that, okay? So that's the first thing, and we will get better. But again, again, I Keep saying it, lighting. Honestly, I ask you to play a different position all season, right? And for everyone here, okay, he epitomizes what we're about, okay? You're magnificent, and every single thing you did, think about putting you in different positions, you get 100%, okay? And that's how it has to be. And I said before, subs come on, change the game, Ditty comes on, scores the winner, dogs, great cross, okay? It's happening, it's happening every single week for us, and it's different people. Today, a few of you are gonna be disappointed in your performance, okay? I, I've been there, okay? Don't overthink it, okay? I still got trust in every single person in this room, okay? But what makes me so proud, 
okay, already so proud before. Keep fucking going, keep going to the end, and we get what we want in the end. We will get there, okay? And there'll be more games where we play shit. We were shit today, okay? There will be more games where we play shit. Corey comes on, the birdie, brilliant, comes on, does his job, gets us moving the ball. It's a fucking squad game, and it's the squad that's gonna get us to where we wanna be. I wish I could give you two days off, but we've got another game on uh, Tuesday, okay? So get rested up, okay? And just think about how we can keep that performance level there, okay? Because that's what's gonna get us there as well, because we were off it today. Alright? Well, f***ing done. Have the music on, clap yourself.